VDI Insights. Real-time insight into the challenges we face daily and the value-driven principles we use to overcome. Here's Tim Murphy. All right, today I want to talk about understanding value. Most people, when they're thinking about making an investment in any type of asset, they're contemplating value. Um, And what does that mean? And really, it's simple. When you're contemplating value, you have to ask yourself this most important question. Is it expensive or is it cheap? Okay, so whenever you're gonna buy an asset, and in our case, it's gonna be real estate, but it could be Bitcoin, it could be gold, it could be stocks, it could be any type of commodity, it could be pretty much anything. You have to ask yourself, is it expensive or is it cheap? Now, as a value-driven investor, that's what we're asking ourselves all the time. Is it expensive or is it cheap? But as a true value-driven investor and in our community, we're also asking ourselves, are we doing a good thing or are we doing just something to make money? Because as a value-driven investor, a true value-driven investor in our community, it is about is it expensive or is it cheap? but it's also about are we doing a good thing? Because value and ROI is not always about dollars and cents here in our community. It's also about impact. So I wanna go into a blog that I wrote. Uh, I thought it was a really good blog and it answers this question of how do I understand value? So here we go. Value comes in all shapes and sizes. As a value-driven investor, you need to always be asking yourself this question. Is it expensive or is it cheap? It refer it it refers to the asset you are considering buying. Be it real estate, Bitcoin, stocks, bonds, commodities, pretty much anything. But today, and as an investor, we're talking about assets. The trick to establishing your answer to this question lies in the data you use to make your decision. The best data is personal experience. I'm a big believer in following trends and the best data I have ever found is data on my own personal investments and how those investments do over the course of time. That means if you want the best data, you better get in the game. But if you are looking at investing in new asset classes, you need to start someplace. That someplace starts with finding data you feel most accurately depicts your perspective at the time. You must include, and you must be willing to, use triangulation. This is something I talk about on a regular basis. You always want to find three different data points with three different perspectives that evaluate the same asset class or the exact same asset. This means you must look at data that represents things you believe are accurate and data you might believe is manipulated. The truth is not in what you believe. The truth is found in fact-based data. I can't stress this enough. People get so manipulated by the media. They get so manipulated by the talk, the, the, the influencer, opinions. You need to make decisions based on facts. And triangulation, that strategy, getting information from multiple different sources, even sources that you don't believe are accurate or you don't believe in, is extremely important to give you a well-rounded perspective to keep you focused on the facts. You see, the world we live in is filled with so much information. The trick to navigating all this information lies in fact-based results. Personally, I love trends and I love following trends. For example, the price of homes. What a home sells for is a fact. You can watch the number of homes going in the market, going on the market. You can watch the number of homes selling and you can see what each home sold for, usually found in the county record. 
Sure, there can be some manipulation in some of these deals that happen. The buyer could roll in costs into a sales price, inflating that sales price, but this reveals another trend and you can, be, you can make sure to add that trend to your overall algorithm as you break down your way of finding value. The point, as a value-driven investor, we all need to establish our way of finding value. We all need to establish our own benchmarks, our own data sets, our own opinion. The true value of one investor to the next is how we look at data and answer the most important questions. Is it expensive or is it cheap? A few tools I use in my triangulation are Shadow Stats, Chapwood Index, and the Case Schiller Home Index. The bottom line, do not depend on someone else to answer this question for you. If you do, you will pay the price. We hope today's insight helps you navigate your value-driven investor journey. If you're sick of being alone and find value in being around like-minded people you can turn to for investing advice, our value-driven investor community was built just for you. Join us at valuedriveninvestor.com.